Welcome everyone to the Institute for Global Outreach Development, also known as the Institute for G.O.D. Located in the beautiful Hopewell neighborhood of Nashville, Tennessee, and minutes away from gorgeous lakes, downtown Music City, USA, the historical Ryman Theater, along with Nashville's three professional sports teams. This ABHE Bible College offers an incredibly innovative professional development program totally integrated into its Bible and missions curriculum that includes 12 plus weeks of international travel. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and for the next 30 minutes, we're gonna meet current students, alumni, and faculty from Nashville's premier missions college. We'll hear how these students learn the word of God as the launching pad for community building initiatives, how their approach is a modern take on missions that includes a variety of occupational focuses, in healthcare, the arts, midwifery, media, construction, business development, and job creation. All coupled with cross-cultural training for effective implementation in the developing world. Welcome to the Institute for G.O.D. This is the College Tour. I'd like to introduce you to Jaron, a community development major who actually grew up in this neighborhood where the Institute for G.O.D. relocated in 2008 called Hopewell. This institution believes you have to have a strong local presence to make a lasting global impact and that kind of ministry starts right where you live. Tell us more, Jaron. All right, Alex, I grew up in Hopewell. Before the Institute came into the neighborhood, the place was ugly and hostile. Homes were run down, and the streets were run by pit bulls, drug dealers, fights, and fear. I wasn't even allowed to play in my own front yard, and not a single food delivery service would enter into my neighborhood. But after the Institute came, faculty and staff started knocking on doors, sharing how they wanted to see my neighborhood change. They made friends with the families in the neighborhood, bringing dinner, doing landscaping, improvements and repairs to homes, inviting kids outdoors for activities. That was the first time I was given permission to go play outdoors. The college runs a summer camp called Camp Skills. And when I was 11, I participated in it, and it changed my life. Not only did I get out of my home, but I started learning valuable life skills. My counselors, college students, took a genuine interest in me and my development. One of the first things I learned about God was that he was in the business of ordering chaos. Hopewell was a dull, low-spirited place. You never saw kids outside. And people even called it derogatory names like Dopewell. It was chaotic. But now, people are welcomed by such a lively spirit from the Lord. And it's one of the most sought after places to live in this part of Nashville. The Institute produces people who live out God's work in any context with any people. They meet needs and they build community. Hopewell is a wonderful place to live now. My professors live here, my friends, and even some of the alumni. And now as a college student, I'm a counselor to kids like me in my own neighborhood. Essentially, chaos ordered. Let's go, Alex. Jaron, my man, you are a living testimony of the work the Institute for G.O.D. has been able to do in developing communities. I'm sure witnessing such a transformation of the place you grew up in was one thing, but now getting to be part of that change is totally another. Thank you for sharing your story. Okay, let's meet Brooke and Mark, both in their first year at the Institute for G.O.D. and from Tennessee. Here, Community life is not just a department on campus. It's the curriculum within the curriculum. From housing to meals, chapel and events, community life is intentionally organized with the goal of developing lifelong friendships for all students. Tell us more, guys. Thanks, Alex. After high school, all I knew was that I wanted to learn the Bible and more of what God had planned for my life. I already had a college degree and no intentions of going back to school. But after experiencing the Bible teaching and community life at the Institute, I knew I had to apply. When I showed up at school, 
we didn't start classes right away. Instead, we spent an entire week getting to know each other at a pool party on the lake, at the Nashville Sounds baseball game. It's times like these that help me feel more at ease so I could enjoy being a student. Being a student is unique here because student life is weaved into the fabric of community life. Faculty, staff, alumni, and even their families all live in our neighborhood. It's like a village. Our dorms are actual homes, and there's a K through 12 school, churches, recreational activities, and a lot of opportunities to love your neighbor, all within walking distance. Weekly chapel services with worship and speakers, worship nights, late night events. We get consistent quality times together, working together, learning together, eating together, praying together, living together, serving together. All of it creates solid relationships because we are in each other's lives, seeing the ups and downs, genuinely making lasting friendships. An on-campus coffee shop, garden, meals created by the team from California, one of Nashville's most popular food trucks, we eat well too. They even put on special events like the Hot Ones Wings competition and MasterChef. Healing friendships, personal and spiritual growth have all come as a result of my experience at the community at the Institute. Friendships I've made here are gonna last a lifetime because they're built on God's word. De regreso al estudio, Alejandro. Hey guys, hey. how are you? Yeah, is it good? Yeah, so good. Gracias, Mark. You and Brooke have some really special friendships here. It's amazing how this school started with some best friends in California wanting to serve God and serve the poor and is now a movement of friends in five regions of the world doing that very thing. Cheers. Let's hear from Austin, a biblical studies major with an occupational focus in IT from Indiana. Recognizing a need to shift traditional learning paradigms in the classroom, the Institute for GOD makes it so students learn their content at their own pace, anywhere they wish, whenever they want, then show up to class to workshop what was learned. Show us what that looks like, Austin. Thanks, Alex. I did not think I was cut out for college. I struggled academically in high school, but after going on a mission trip to Costa Rica, I saw how much need was in the world, and I realized that I wanted to help the poor, but I just didn't know how. After I visited the Institute, I instantly felt at home. Students and faculty, passionate about living out God's word in community, strategizing service to the poor and caring for one another, it was beautiful. Classes are super challenging, but unbelievably rewarding. Over 90% of the Bible is taught in the undergrad, and scripture is the foundation for even our professional development courses. When I decided on IT as my occupational focus, it's God's word that now gives my work meaning. President Garner is a visionary guy who saw the academic needs of Gen Z and then flipped the classroom. He and faculty turned classes into episodic videos and podcasts so students like myself could learn content at their own pace. I mean, I can rewind at any time and hear that new vocab again, and then come to class ready to engage in an interactive workshop processing what I've learned. Professors host study parties, give one-on-one -on -one tutor sessions, pray with us, dream with us. They are kind-hearted, caring people who've helped me overcome my academic hurdles, even to serve in Africa and the Philippines. From struggling academically in high school and not knowing what to do about the world's needs, I'm a completely different person now. I now learn for others, and I now know what to do to contribute to making the world a better place. Oh, and by the way, that feeling of being at home, it's never left me. What you think, Alex? I think that's a great feeling to have, Austin. Learning the Bible seems to have really given you confidence and direction. What a joy for your work to take on meaning and make a difference for a world in need. Thank you. Okay, everyone, please welcome Emily, a senior and community development major from Franklin, Tennessee, and Angel, a sophomore from the Congo, East Africa. The Institute for GOD offers students a variety of community service opportunities right in the greater Nashville area. Through programs in youth development, widow and elderly care, and immigrant and refugee services, students gain valuable experiences routinely. Please take it away. Tombo Alex. 
Community service is a big part of Institute life. We get to serve immigrant and refugee families right here in Nashville. Through my Swahili language classes, African culture, and history courses, I felt conceptually prepared. But it was the classes coupled with real experiences that locked in the content for me. A couple years ago, I started implementing classroom lessons with the Congolese community, and that's when I met Angel. I am Angelique Nebaruta. I'm from Congo in East Africa. I grew up a refugee in a neighboring country called Burundi. There we spoke French. I came to the West after graduating high school and I didn't know English. I was very frustrated, feeling pressured by my family to know English. And I didn't know how I was going to learn this new language, my fifth language. Then the Institute started coming to my parents' house to teach us English. It was a miracle. Every Saturday, they came and they taught us. Even through COVID, they continue with us online. After a while, I began to think I could go to college and use my new English. So just over a year ago, I started at the Institute. I have had many challenges to overcome in my lifetime, but I was so moved by the patient, commitment, and kindness that I found in this community. I'm now getting a college degree using my English, overcoming all the insecurities that I had coming here as an immigrant. I really thank God for the Institute. Although Angel and I began our relationship through community service, today we're classmates and more than that, friends. We now serve side by side as the Institute launched a youth development initiative with the Congolese community young people. I'm so happy to serve others the way I have been served for Tony Alex. Asante Sana, Angel, you and Emily are doing such great work together serving the Congolese youth. It's really great that the Institute for GOD students can immediately immerse themselves in the diverse cultures of Nashville and get experience implementing programs to help people who need it. Great job, ladies. Okay, let's hear from Amelia, a senior from Carmel, Indiana, with an occupational focus in film. The Institute for Global Outreach Development's Missions Program gives students practical opportunities to implement lessons learned in the classroom in four regions of the developing world. Over the course of their undergrad, several international trips are taken, culminating in over 12 weeks of experience on the mission field. Take it away, Amelia. Thanks, Alex. At 13, I knew I wanted to be a missionary, but I didn't want to just hit the field and learn by trial and error, nor did I want to be stuck in a classroom reading about it. The Institute's missionary program prioritizes learning God's plan for missions through biblical studies while developing a team dynamic and a sustainable strategy through community building. The program gives us tools for navigating cross-cultural experiences, puts us in situations for developing team dynamics, all while giving us an occupational focus for skills development we can actually use on the field with campuses in Latin America, East Africa, India, and Southeast Asia, I've been able to go to both El Salvador and Uganda. Being on mission with like-minded friends and professors has been life-changing. I've taught in schools, planned youth conferences, performed the arts, dug wells, served widows, played with orphans, assisted the disabled, and encouraged the poor. Taking what I've learned at school and doing it in the real world makes learning way more than some hypothetical exercise in the classroom. I actually get to bring change to real people's lives. The Institute has given me so many opportunities to practice what I've learned before I take it abroad. I feel so prepared to spend the rest of my life serving and using this education to do good in the world. When I graduate, I'll be debt free, equipped with a skill I can use in the developing world, have a job offer with a business or nonprofit doing missions, and a knowledge of God's word to be confident in my approach. I'll be a missionary. Your turn, Alex. Thank you, Amelia. I've done a lot of traveling myself, and there's nothing like having your eyes opened by the variety of experiences you get when you visit people around the world. The Institute for GOD Missions program sounds like an awesome synthesis of learning and doing. Thanks again for sharing your story. Meet Olivia, a double major with an occupational focus in maternal health. 
The Institute for GOD matches mentors to students for personal growth, accountability, spiritual, professional development. Mentors walk alongside students for the duration of the program, assisting them in both acclimation to the workplace and application of values learned in the classroom. Tell us more, Liv. Thanks, Alex. I came to the Institute after going on a mission trip to El Salvador with Global Outreach Developments International. That was exactly one year after my family lost our mom to cancer. I just really wanted to get closer to God and learn His Word. What I didn't realize when I came to the Institute was that I would gain a family. What initially took me by surprise was the sheer amount of love that faculty and staff share with students. I felt immediately seen. People genuinely want to get to know you. Students are prayerfully assigned a personal mentor who is always available to them and will actually go with them on their journey of development for the duration of their education. Our mentors help us as we're learning how to be adults who honor God in their day-to-day -day life. They pray for you and challenge you. Our mentors and teachers always remind us to consider how God is shaping us to be servants and peacemakers within our household and even on the mission field. They also live in our neighborhood, so there's a chance you'd see them while on a walk or be invited over to their house for a family dinner. These relationships have been redemptive and healing for me. The safety of knowing you have biblically literate adults in your life who love you and are looking out for you is something I have not found anywhere else. I'm so thankful I get to be a part of a family of believers who are committed to learning the Word of God and living it out in real time. And also, my sister comes here now too. I think our mom would be really proud of us for pressing forward and serving God. She really loved the Lord. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Liv. I also think your mom would be so proud of you and your sister having caring adults in your life who share your values and who want to help you grow into your potential is an awesome gift. The Institute for GOD really is like a big family that way. And that is awesome. Thanks again for sharing your story. Let's all please welcome Genesis, a double major with an occupational focus in the arts. The Institute for Global Outreach Developments hold that the arts are a key component for the development of any thriving community. With an on-campus recording studio, theater, dance studio, and film studio, the Institute for GOD gives students several venues to develop creative expression, even sharing it cross-culturally and around the world. Genesis, please take it away. I could sing of your love could sing of your love forever. Thanks, Alex. Growing up, I spent hours singing, dancing, playing instruments, reading, writing, and creating films. The more I was exposed to the creative arts, the more my love grew for them. I also wanted to learn God's Word and even be a missionary, but wasn't totally sure how those two things would go together. Enter the Community Development Program, which is all about community building, even in the developing world, with the Bible as your main resource. For people to creatively express themselves is a gift, and one of the main ways communities preserve their histories and tell their stories. Coupled with the Professional Development Program, I'm a dance teacher, creating class content, choreographing in our on-campus studio, and getting my work showcased at the spring recital. Last summer, I choreographed and taught dance at a youth conference in El Salvador. That was amazing. I also lead worship for one of the college bands. A professional musician coaches us to hone in our sound, develop our skills, and connect with Jesus and each other. I've led worship for chapel, our campus church, youth groups, elderly homes during service projects, and special events. To further my film passion, I produce content for the top social media platforms as an institute ambassador. 
And concerning writing, this year I wrote content for a new devotional being commercially published. We also have an on-campus theater and I've been able to sing, dance, and act in full-length musicals, even at the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Nothing compares to the feeling of expressing yourself alongside your friends. I've been given so many opportunities to express myself through the arts. And how cool is it that I'm learning to root all of that in the Bible and even share it in cross-cultural settings all over the world? Back to you, Alex. That is pretty cool, Genesis. It's great to see how the Institute for G.O.D. has made a way for creatives like yourself to couple your passions to learn the Bible and be a missionary with studies in the arts. That choreography you did for the kids in Africa was also really cool. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Here's Gabby, a senior majoring in community development with an occupational focus in accounting. The Professional Development Program, or ProDev Program, is the Institute for GOD's innovative opportunity for students getting a Biblical Studies or a Missions degree to graduate with a professional skill and certification or the equivalent without accruing debt and getting a job offered after graduation. Please take it away. Thanks, Alex. When I started looking for colleges, I had no idea what career I would choose. I just knew I wanted to study the Bible and serve people. What's unique about the Institute are the service opportunities, internships, and even job opportunities integrated into our learning curriculum. Students can get these experiences by participating in the professional development program, helping them make informed decisions about their future occupation while studying the Bible in the classroom. Through the ProDev program, Initially, I served as an after-school program administrator, then interned for a K-12 school, and finally interned for our college accounting department. After my first year, I really thought I wanted to be an elementary teacher. But through the program and conversations with my mentor, I found that the accounting internship unearthed a passion for resource management that I did not expect. The Institute's innovative program taught me the skills I need for my profession by serving our local neighborhood, the greater Nashville area, and even the global community. I learned social, administrative, and professional skills, all through a biblical perspective. I even had the incredible experience of doing accounting work with Institute students in India and the Philippines. With graduates having 100% job placement and graduating without debt, I'm graduating with three years of accounting experience, a full-time job offer as an executive accountant, a robust knowledge of God's word, and I'm debt-free. You won't just learn about your desired field of expertise, you'll actually experience it here at the Institute. President Garner often says, it's not as much about what you're going to do, but about who you're going to become. I love what I do in accounting, but I'm even more thankful for who it is that I've become. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Gabby. It's great how the Institute for G.O.D. immediately put students into their occupational field of choice, giving you a chance to discover if that's what you want to do with your life. You could have graduated with an elementary ed degree, but because of the ProDeb program, you're now becoming an accountant, and that makes you very happy. What a great story. Thank you for sharing. Okay, let's hear from Jordan an alumna who graduated with a double major in Biblical Studies and Community Development, and is now a family nurse practitioner. An education at the Institute for G.O.D. develops character and an identity rooted in God's Word to take into any profession and make a lasting impact in the world. Tell us more, Jordan. Thanks, Alex. I'm a proud graduate of the Institute for GOD. I'm also a nurse practitioner at a leading integrative clinic in Nashville and a missionary in East Africa. I wanted to share how my decision to prioritize studying the Bible has made me who I am today. I've always wanted to know God and be used by Him. And after spending time in Latin America, I knew I was called to serve the poor through healthcare. 
but I didn't know how to begin. I knew I could go to nursing school, but I wanted to be more than just a nurse. I heard President Garner speak about a biblical education, saying it's less about what you do and more about who you become. He said becoming someone in Christ is the key to doing world-changing activity in our future fields of work. That resonated with me because I wanted to be someone grounded in my faith and make a difference in the world through what I do. With that, I found myself at the Institute for GOD, where I studied the Bible and community development. Through lectures, workshops, worship, relationships, and international mission trips, I grew in my knowledge of the Bible and understanding of what God wants to do in the world. I'm now a nurse practitioner and missionary. And I must say, I'm only able to do what I do because of the education and skills I gained at the Institute. And more so, because of the person I've become, making a global impact as a result of learning God's Word, just as I've always prayed. And one more thing I'm really excited about, I now get to mentor current Institute students who have a heart for healthcare. We even get to go to Africa together. Waverly and yo, Alex. Gale Jordan, the incorporation of professional alumni into the mentorship program here is a really great feature of the school. It's wonderful that you get to work with students and even go to Africa together to serve people through healthcare. What an experience. Thanks, Jordan. Now we're gonna hear from the founder and president of the Institute for G.O.D., Greg Garner. His visionary leadership wonderfully complements the love he has for the faculty, the staff, and the students at the college. His passion for the work being done here and around the world is absolutely incredible. Greg? Appreciate that, Alex. Paul the Apostle wrote the Corinthians saying that they were the only letters of recommendation that he and his team needed before a watching, sometimes critical world. He said a story had been written on their hearts for others to read. And I am so inspired by the story that God has been writing on our students' hearts. We believe that disciples who follow Jesus make history. There's no way you can learn God's hope for a beautiful, fruitful, productive and peaceful world and not be a part of doing something to change that world as we know it. When God led me to start the Institute, I knew there were some changes to be made in post-secondary education. Classes were too conceptual and needed an integrated experiential component. Students needed social emotional learning incorporated into their curriculum with mentors to walk alongside them on their journey to adulthood. Spiritual formation shouldn't be left to campus clubs or biographies in the library, but weaved into community life. Students need to graduate without debt, to venture forward unencumbered by the restraints a mortgage-sized payment puts on a young person's dreams. And dreaming is what college students should be doing. Dreaming of that better neighborhood, city, and world. And that's why our students come here to study the Bible to take God's word as the impetus for effective community building, synthesizing traditional missional ambitions to spread the gospel with a modern paradigm that includes the marketplace and job creation. Trends pass, traditions become irrelevant, even educational approaches become outdated. But God's word? Jesus said it would be forever relevant, down to the cross of the T and dot of the I. It's time to really learn God's word. It's time to make history. It is time to change the world. That's our story, Alex. Greg, Thank you for opening up and sharing your passions and your why behind the Institute for G.O.D. These are amazing students, and we are so excited for what the future holds for all of them. Thanks again. What a fantastic episode, everyone. First and foremost, we would like to thank all the incredible students here for opening up and sharing their personal stories and journeys here at the Institute for Global Outreach Developments. From the vibrant Hopewell neighborhood in Nashville, Tennessee, where this campus sits, 
in the innovative curriculum, we witness firsthand how this mission-focused institute is making a profound impact here and around the world. These students are the embodiment of this institute's mission, developing spiritually mature, competent professionals for global impact. If you would like to learn more about the Institute for Global Outreach Developments, please check out their website, or better yet, come visit here in person. And hopefully, we'll see you all on campus real soon. Cheers, everyone.